yourselves together. Do what? Gather yourselves together. Scriptures tell us to gather ourselves together. Read on. Yea, gather your select you. Yeah. Yea, gather together. Right. O nation not desire. It says gather yourselves together, O nation not desire. Because what? You know that the black man, Hispanic man, and Native American is not desired here in America. You know that we America never loved you, black man. America never showed you love. And America never will show you love. You out here marching in the streets for reparations, man. You want what you want? Money? You want three hundred and fifty thousand dollars? What? So you could blow go blow it on a Cadillac? Getting high? Right? That's what you want to do? Our reparations are in blood, man. That's what we want. We want blood reparations. Right? You a lot of our black men have come to a low state, right? And you don't even understand what it is to have vengeance. You don't even understand what it is to have God on your side, man. You so used you're so used to going through so many things, man. Right? Because you want to be wicked, because you don't want to keep the laws of the Heavenly Father. But this world isn't going to last for too much longer, man. That's why we are out here. It's our scriptures tell us to gather ourselves together. Oh, nation not desire. Read on. Verse 2. Uh -huh. Before the decree bring forth. Right? Before the decree bring forth. That's what we ought to do. You know what we ought to do, sister? Let me ask you a question. Who is this? Do y'all know what this is? You say who? The devil? The devil? Are you saying that because he only has horns? Give me Revelations 1. What did Jesus look like? Before y'all go, hold on, don't leave. We know, you, you said nobody knows? I'm going to show you today. I'm going to change your life, sister. Revelations 1 and 1. Let me show you something. Right? Because what? The church, we've been going to church all our lives, right? We've been going to church 20 and 30 years, and they tell you that God, uh, Christ was omnipotent. They tell you that Christ was white, that Christ is all colors. He's see-through. He's clear. Let's see what Christ really looks like according to the Bible. Give me Revelations 1 and 1. Revelations chapter 1 verse 1. And this is important for this young brother because he has to understand that he's a God in the earth. They try to teach us black men that we ain't nothing. Right? America never loved us, right? But I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you the real love of God, man. Read what you got. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Which God gave unto him. So the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. The word revelation means to reveal, right? To reveal means something was kept secret. But we're going to show the secret, right? So jump down to verse 12. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ, right? He's showing John this thing in the vision, right? Jump to verse 12. Read on. Revelation 1 and 12. Uh -huh. And I turned to see the voice uh -huh. that spake unto me, right? And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. You saw seven golden candlesticks, which represents the seven churches, right? The menorah. Read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. One like to the Son of Man, which is talking about Jesus Christ, because we read that in verse 1. We're on verse 12 right now, so read on. Clothed with the garment down to the foot. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. We don't have our garments on. Usually we have them on Saturdays, but we have garments that come down to the foot with our fringes, right? Read on. And girt about the paps with the golden and girdle. we have a girdle that goes about our paps. Ours is black, but his was gold. Why? Because he's royalty. Read on. His head, his what? His head, his what? His head, his head, read on. And his hair, and his hairs were what? White, like oh, wool. White and woolly, right? So the only people that have woolly hair on this earth is the so-called black man and black woman. When you touch your hair, we have woolly hair, right? Keep reading. As white as snow. As white as snow, read on. And his eyes, his what? His eyes, and his eyes, read on. Were as a flame of fire. They were red, right? Because what? Christ was drinking wine. Keep reading. And his feet. And his what? His feet. Your feet are the same color as the rest of your body, right, young brother? Right? His feet were what? Like under fine brass. Like fine brass. What color is brass, sister? It's a brown color, but it gets more in detail, more explicit. Read on. As if they burned in a fire, in a furnace. As it burned in a furnace. So when you put brass into a furnace, something that's brown, what color does it turn? It turns dark. Christ was a so-called black man, and he looks just like us. They try to teach us that Christ was a man that had stringy hair and blue eyes, blonde hair and white skin, right? This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. This is not really real, right? This is Caesar Borgia, right? He perpetuated his son to be in all of the earth. He wanted us to worship his son forever, man, right? What we are here to do is tell you who you are according to the Bible, because what? We lost our nationality. Give me uh, uh, Isaiah 1 and 3, because you you go to church this do you go to church, sister? Y'all go to church? How about you? You go to church, young brother? 
He's not in the church. Same church, okay? Let me show you something, right? So read that. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Because what? We, we walk around thinking that, you know, we just black. If I ask you where you're from, what's your nationality, what would you tell me? You say you're from here? That's your nationality? What's here? Negro? Let me show you something. Where's, where's Negroes in the Bible? Where can you find them? Right. I'm gonna show you something because why these things the word Negro came into existence in what 1980 Time. right 1980 the word Negro came into existence. So what were you before then? What were you? Colored when, when I, when I, As a Negro you were born as a Negro But before 1980 Negro the word Negro wasn't even in existence. So what were you before that? What were you called? African American? Where's that in the Bible? And I'm not getting on you, sister. I'm just, I'm just trying to show you something. I'm gonna open up your eyes after today. Because what? The, when we go to church, they don't teach us who we are according to the Bible. They don't go into the scripture and show you exactly who you are. But I'm gonna show you because what? We are the servants of the true heavenly father. The most I said the true service will be in the highways and byways, teaching our people to come back into the house, the real house of the Lord. Not that Sunday church that wants your money and tell you the law is done away with. The law is not done away with. It's not done away with. This is why we kill each other. This is why we don't have men raising our, our children. This is why our men don't know how to treat their wives. And our wives don't know how to treat their men. There's no household according to the black people, the black people on this earth. Why? Because we don't understand what God is. We don't think there's rules. But I'm going to show you something. Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. So the ox is a stubborn animal. He knows his owner. He knows where he comes from. Read off. And the donkey, his master's crib. And the donkey is a dumb animal. He knows where he lives at. Read off. But Israel. Uh -huh. But Israel. Uh -huh. But Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. Read off. Does not know. They don't know. That's why when we ask so-called black men and black women where they're from, they tell us what? I'm a, I'm a nigga. They say, I'm, I'm from Africa. I'm from Kemet. Right? You get 25 different answers from the so-called black men and black women. Because what? We don't know. And read off. My people does not consider. And neither have we considered where we are from. Neither have we considered. Give me Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. Let me show you something. 17 and verse 4. Salak. Right? I'm gonna I'm I'm listen. I, I tell people this all the time, right? And I'm gonna repeat it every time. We are young brothers, right? We could be doing anything. We could be on the lit right now. It's a Friday afternoon, right? But we come out here. And, and give our time to our people because what we love our people just that much. Invite them to the service, right? Yeah, we have we listen. We have school tonight. We have school tonight. Y'all should come through. I promise you, it'll change your life. You've never been to anything like this because what the Sunday church? We've been we tried that. We've tried Sunday churches since we stepped foot off those stations. And how has the Sunday church helped us? They tell you we we are the real Jews. Of course, did you you know about Nick Cannon? But Nick Cannon, have you seen that in the news lately? Right. You know who that is? So Nick Cannon was a guy, he had his own platform wilding out on MTV, I don't know. Right? So if you've seen his show, right. And, and, yes, and Drumline, right? So he has a show, a very popular show, right? Very lucrative, right? And this guy lost everything. He was a black ball for saying what? We are the real Jews. When they heard that, they said, oh no, cut this guy off. He, he can't let that get out there because what? They know as long as we don't know where we're from and who we are, they can continue to destroy us. There is people literally out here, believe it or not, that want to keep you to be destroyed. Right? You think this is a coincidence? You think the hoods all over America is a coincidence? When you go to every hood, even when you go to the UK, you think when you go to the hood over there, you see people that look just like us. How is that possible? Right? This is not a coincidence. This thing, these things are set up by crafty counsel according to the Bible. Right? So give me what you got. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Uh-huh. And though, it's up, it's even up. thyself, and thou, and thou, and thou uh -huh. even thyself, so even you, even yourself, read on, come, shall discontinue, shall what? Discontinue, you, you shall stop, read on, from thy heritage, from thy heritage, read on, that I gave thee, that he gave you. This is God talking to the children of Israel. He said, you shall discontinue from all the law, statutes, and commandments that I gave you. Right? So now we do what? We think there's no rules. This is why you got so many black people killing black people. I was just telling the young brother, we go to Franklin Park every week. Every other week, there's a brother dead over there. They got to throw a block party. Every other week. Right? 
the, one more um, scripture. The one stand, more scripture. Deuteronomy uh, 28, 15. Y'all got a flyer, right? Listen, we have YouTube. We have a number if you have any questions. Cause you, I know you might go to your pastor and say, Pastor, I see these brothers teaching. He gonna take, don't listen to them crazy guys on the street. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But you, and, and you're gonna see more and more of us keep popping up. Why? Because this is the last day. Scriptures tell you in the last day that we're gonna be, we're gonna pop up. You're gonna start seeing us in every corner on this on, on the street until America has been destroyed for the sins they have committed against the children of Israel. So read what you got. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass right. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God you know. to observe to do all his commandments. Uh-huh. So and his he read it. And his statutes. So if you don't listen to do all the commandments and the statutes, read on. Which I command thee this day. He read it. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these what? All these curses. Now is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Mind you now, Moses is talking to the children of Israel back in Egypt. Right? Keep reading. Shall come upon thee. Right? And overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. I'm going to show you one curse before I let y'all go. Verse 68. Because when you read Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, it lists all the curses that the real Jews will be going through in the last days. And black people, Hispanic people, Native Americans, we fit almost every single curse that has been laid out in the Bible. It's not a coincidence because Jewish people are living good. They live good. They got money. They own the banks. They own the corporations. What do we own? Nothing. We, they, shut, they, they set up the family dollar. We don't own the family dollar store, right? They set up the corner store. We don't own the corner store. They set up the liquor, the liquor store. We don't own any of this, man. How, that's not a coincidence. So read that last verse. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right? So, I'm, so he said he's going to bring you into the house of bondage again. Last, last one, I promise. Read on. With ships. With ships. How do we get to America? With ships. God, they prophesied this to us. With ships, we shall go into the house of bondage. Read on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, you read it. Thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we'll never see our homeland again. Right? I'm a t I'll tell you this. Repent, keep the commandments, right? Listen, we got videos, research and stuff. I'm not out here to tell you a lot. I don't want your money. I'm not out here to bamboozle nobody. I'm out here to tell you out of love that God loves you and we are God's chosen people. And you remember that, young brother, right? You are a king and a god in this earth, right? Our school is right on Broad Boulevard, right? We're right there by the Walmart, right? We, right? We have class tonight. We have class tomorrow. We have classes all through the week. My sister, are you married? That's good. We have children? Okay, my sister, guess what? But guess what? The best spot for them is in the house of God. Because if they are not living according to God's, God's laws, they will be the next but my ground. I beg with my sister. Right. Okay. Okay. right, so give me um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right? So we are here to, we are here to edify the people. Man. Matter of fact, drop that. Give me Lamentations 2 and 5. We're, we're out here to edify the people. You know that, brother? You know that? Do you know what we're doing? What are we doing, brother? Right? Remember, America has never loved you. And you got to come back to the laws of God. Read what you got, man. Lamentations 2 and 5. Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The Lord was an enemy. He had swallowed up Israel. He swallowed up Israel. You made God your enemy because what? Israel has destroyed thyself. Israel has broke the commandments of thy heavenly father. So we made God our enemy. We made God hate us. We made God flee from us. We made God hide his face from us. We don't. He has swallowed up all her palaces. He has swallowed up all her palaces. Read on. He has destroyed his strongholds and hath keep reading, keep reading. And hath increased in the daughter of Judah. Right? Mourning and lamentation. Mourning and lamentation. That's what he increased, brother. You know that? That's why we out here and we need we're hurt, man. We are hurt people. You agree with that, sister? Don't you know that we are hurt people? Why are we living like this? Why are we living on the bottom? Huh? Don't you know who you are according to the Bible? Where's your father from? Jamaica, you're from the tribe of Benjamin, man. You gotta get it together. You are a real Jew, you are a real Israelite, and you gotta come back to the voice of the Lord thy God. Repent for your sins and come and hear the voice of the Lord thy God. Right? I compel all of you to come back to the, to the house of the Lord. Right? So with that being said, I say Shalom to the house of Israel. Right? And Babylon shall burn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.